Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Welcome to Lancer. In today's episode, Apophys, from Ignitrix Institute, by ELH. Apophys, or Apep, is the god of chaos, and thus the enemy of Ra, the god of light in the Egyptian mythology. The story, basically goes that every night, Apophys and Ra have a battle that decides the fate of the world and each time, Ra wins and brings daylight to the people. But let's just say Apophys is very persistent because after all, he only has to win once. Named after the god of chaos, Apophys is a rather dramatic mech that gets more powerful the hotter it is, like it is following the climax of a tale. But first, let's talk about the core bonus you will get from Ignitrix Institute when you fully unlocked Apophys. Core bonuses you get from Ignitrix Institute are, weird to say the least, some of their core bonuses are even only available from individual licenses. Obsessed with legends and mythologies, core bonuses available from the Institute can directly change your fate in ways that seem impossible. The Sacred Number, gives you a pool of 9 points, you can add any number of these points into any role you perform, expending them in the process. You could only replenish them on full repair. Basically, if you want to make a role success, or turn a role into a critical, this will work well for you. The Inquisitive Mind is a rather strange core bonus, I'm air quoting, because it does not help at all in mech combat. Instead, you basically get to ask the GM a single question per full repair, one that they must answer truthfully in character. Of course, they can also troll you by answering in half-truths or omissions and make you wonder why you pick this core bonus at all. The grand design, for once per full repair, let you instantly score a critical hit on any mech-related rolls like you have rolled a natural 20, any negative modifiers like difficulty do not matter, you crit, that's the case. However, you must declare that you are using this ability prior to any dice rolling, so you can't just roll and then say you want to use this. And, erm, um, you also have to explain how this happened thanks to a strange, convoluted plan? Which is kinda weird but I guess that helps role playing. Anyway, that's core bonuses coming from Ignitrix Institute, but you also get one special core bonus from Apophys license alone, the Apep class NHP. Basically, for twice per scene, you can reroll any quick tech or full tech action you made, including the accuracy or difficulty dice together. This sounds amazing, but the catch. Once unshackled, a pep class NHP cannot be reshackled. Once this happens, you could either nuke your mech from existence because it's not in your control anymore, or hope that your Snakewafu likes you, because you got enough flags with her by treating her nicely. And, I'm sorry but what the heck? With that done, let's look at Apophy's stat. Apophys has an average health point, evasion, one armor, and an amazing E defense. Apophys also has an average speed and decent heat cap. While its sensor range looks average, it has a nice tech attack bonus and excellent save target. As for its traits, Apophys has a staggering four of them. First, Serpentine, make Apophys immune to knockback, difficult terrain, and may climb up a wall at normal speed if it can coil around the surface. Second, Enemy of Ra makes attack done by Apophys against a Horus mech or Horus mech against Apophys have plus one accuracy. Your GM will decide whether an enemy meet the requirement or not. Third, multivariable thermal displacement manifold, while this is rather wordful at the end of your turn, you lose one heat if you have heat and gain one d3 heat if you don't, this trait is disabled if you take a reactor stress until the end of your next turn. Fourth, ectotherm, make you mech automatically suffers exposed condition if you ever overheat and take reactor stress on top of whatever effects you get on the overheating table. In total, this makes Apophys a mech that's dangerous to its foes and the pilot at the same time. For its weapon mount, you only get one, a flex mount along with eight base system points to play with. As for the core system, you get an integrated weapon, the Electroplasma Fangs, a powerful plasma spewing weapons that can be used for either melee or ranged attack. While this weapon won't benefit from talents or modification, it gets stronger the hotter Apophys is. Just look at it, this is a bit ridiculous. But since Apophys need to get hot just to do more damage, Apophys is going to be very vulnerable to tech or heat attack that might just push it over the edge. As for the core power, the Electroplasma Fangs get overcharged projector. For the rest of the scene, Apophys get overcharged property for the EPF, more range on the ranged attack cone, but now all attacks with EPF cost 2 heat. So, look at your heat bar more carefully. For the rest of the license, you get binding coils and heat siphon in the first section. Binding coils, 
is an invasion upgrade that gives you only one additional option. Bind, which immobilizes your target on the spot until the end of their next turn. Simple, but effective if you want to keep someone standing still. Heat Siphon, is another invasion upgrade that gives two additional options. Endothermic, lets you steal up to four heat from your target, and in doing so, cause one AP damage per heat you stole. Obviously, you can't steal more heat than your target has. Call of the Void, add half of your target's missing health point as heat to your target, four of it at max. Extremely useful if you ever need to play around with heat. In the second section, you get Roar of the Underworld and Rattle of the Dark. Roar of the Underworld, is a full tech upgrade that let you shred and impair your target on hit which lasts until the end of their next turn. Very powerful, and very useful. Rattle of the Dark, lets you conjure an effect of some kind. I'm not really sure what it is but whatever it is, it turns a small area into a zone where allies could get soft cover with even just a part of them in it, and enemies that start or move into the zone for the first time on their turn will receive two burn. While this system is limited, it's a rather generous 4 and the area could last until the end of the scene or until your mech is destroyed, pretty good. In the last section, you get Gaze of Apep and Reverse Entropy. Gaze of Apep, is another full tech upgrade. This time, the target must pass a system save or take half of your current heat, rounded up, as AP damage. Again, powerful, but you need to be rather hot to use this effectively. Lastly, Reverse Entropy, give you a unique full tech action called, with this full tech action, you can target up to 8 targets all together with a minimum of 1 within your sensor range with plus 1 difficulty. For each character you target, you receive 1 heat. On hit, your target take heat equal to their heat cap minus 2. Basically, you have pushed your target inches away from overheating. Very powerful, but it's rather limited, so use it wisely. As a conclusion, Apophys is a powerful mech that can both hack and attack well. However, if you ever want to use it, you better be careful about its heat level, or whatever other dangers it might hold. Or else you might end up within its reticle.